Hi, my name is Andrea. Welcome to Fab Lab Fundamentals. Today, I'm going to teach you how to use the power supply in the Fab Lab. Come on. We can turn it on by clicking this power button. Then, um, you can change channels with these buttons. So this will be green, which will be channel one, and it will be located on the left side of the screen, which is in green, and that will correspond to this channel one. Then channel two is in yellow, which is this one, and it'll correspond to the right side of the screen, which is in yellow, and that will be um, this channel two. Now channel three is not on the screen, but it'll be located over here. So you have three um, set voltages, um, which you can use this lighter to move. Um, here I will use five volts. And then we have connected a Christmas tree to here, which is channel three. And to turn it on, you just click this on button for channel three. Now we have a simple LED circuit here, which has a current limiting resistor, um, which is connected in series with an LED. I will connect that to channel one, which is over here. You can use whichever channel you want, um, but in this case, I'm using channel one. Um, so make sure you have your desired channel selected and then you can change the voltage or current you um, can switch between each other with these arrows. So here is current and here is voltage. Um, you can change each digit by with using, using this find button. So you can see how it switches between each digit. And then with this knob, you can turn it, uh, by turning it to the right, it will increase or decrease if you turn it to the left. Now I will connect my circuit um, to channel one with the probes. So you connect the probes, um, red is positive and black will be negative. And then with this button, I will turn it, turn channel one on. You will see that the LED turns on. I will change the voltage to a higher voltage and you will see how it gets brighter. So that's five volts and this will be seven volts. Now I'm going now I'm going to go back to three and you will see that it gets dimmer. And with that, that will be the FabLab power supply. If you need any circuit elements, um, you can ask a FabLab owner and we will be happy to help you. 